Aloha, this is Marianne Roos, professional keynote speaker, published author, and serial entrepreneur. I'm here to show you today how to use your bullet journal. So this is your business bullet journal. And I'm going to show you actually using mine that I had created as a prototype. So it looks a little bit different than the one that you purchased as far as look when it comes to content the content is the same when you open your business bullet journal the very first thing that you will see on the inside is index and for the index there are actually multiple pages that are labeled index and those pages are blank and there is a reason for that as you look at that very first index page, what you will first see is that page four is for your annual goals. Your monthly details are page five through seven, your future logs, eight to 11, your monthly logs, 12 through 23, your weekly mind dump and daily logs are page 24 through 127, and then your project list and notes and everything else are pages 128 through 200. So you will see also each page is numbered on the bottom. So here it's telling us that on page four is where you can set your annual goals. What I recommend you do is you simply get a paper clip. Just get five paper clips that way you can set the paper clip for each to create a tab in a way for you to get to that tab really quickly. So for annual goals, I have my paper clip and the annual goals. You have a series of goals for you to fill in for your annual goals for what you're going to focus on. So there's health, wealth, spiritual, relationship, physical environment, business, fun, personal growth, and then other. And just put one goal for each of those for this year that you want to focus on. And there is a space where it says date achieved. That way, as you achieve that goal, then you can write the date you've achieved it. And then you can go ahead and add a different goal to that specific category after you have achieved it. Directly after the annual goals, then you have your monthly goal details and that is where in your bullet journal these are meant to be used on a quarterly basis that is why there are 200 pages it is very important to have that number 200 and so since this is quarterly then you will fill in the month and the year and which quarterly goals you're going to be focusing on for that specific quarter and also breaking it down monthly and the yearly goal that you're focusing on for this particular month or any other projects that you have going on. So you go ahead and do that for that first month of the quarter. And then when the next month comes around, you go ahead and fill out that next month. And when that third month of the quarter comes around, you fill out for that third month of the quarter. So that is for your annual goals and then your monthly details. Next, it goes on to the future logs. So I have a little paper clip for future logs. And as you look at those pages, you will see it's basically each month for the entire year. And that is where you write down just some of the big things that you want to remember are happening. So for example, in the month of May, I have that I have my vacation to visit my daughter. During the month of September, I have the Women's Transformation Retreat. And I have a other business conference that I have have written in. So that's where you just write just in the big picture, big things that are happening. So that is your future logs. When you go then to the monthly log, what I do with the paper clip of the monthly log, see I have my paper clip, is I simply move that paper clip to the specific month that is now. Because for the monthly log, you 
literally have up to six months in here so that you can have a little bit more details. So in here, I have more details. For example, in September, let me go ahead and show that to you. In September, I have, so there's four. I wrote in September at a glance where I wrote in there, the Women's Transformational Retreat. And then I also have space for more notes. So that is your monthly log, and that is where you get more of the detailed versus the future log. And that is when you're planning, when you're making phone calls, when you're scheduling things, it makes it easy to just go ahead and look. Oh, future log. Oh, September, I've got retreats and conferences coming up. So what do I want to plan around that? And for example, with conference for us, with our company, we usually have re new product releases, that type of thing. So that's where I can already get the wheels turning on what activities I'm going to do in regards to new launches. So that is to help with the planning. Then the next section in your business bullet journal are your weekly mind dump and daily logs. So let me go to paperclip over here. I have one that I have already filled out where I have my weekly mind dump and basically for me, I do it on Sundays. So whichever day is the day that you like to start your week, because we all have different schedules. For me, I do it on Sunday to where on Sunday I sit down and I'll put the date of the week that this particular log is for. And I'll just start mind dumping all the different things that come to mind of things I need to get done during the week. And I know it can look kind of crazy. It can be like, whoa, so many things. But you know what? I will write on there different things like coffee hours. I will write on there celebrating birthdays because I do celebrate birthdays. I do send birthday cards, that type of thing. Uh, what else? Uh, doing the Pauhanas when I have specific one-to-one -one appointments that I want to do or people that I want to remember to reach out to or even if it's I need to go by um a s specific something or if there's somebody's birthday that's coming up and i want to do something special for that birthday i need more planning i'll write it on here so this is just the mind up just put it all on here put it all down and directly the pages following the mind dump you will see is a week's worth of daily logs so for your daily logs this particular one i've already done it because this one was from back in april and for your daily log, basically what you have on there is you start your day with I am thankful and grateful for. And there's six blanks. I challenge you to write down the names of six people that you're thankful and grateful for on a daily basis. And if for some reason you can't think of somebody that you're grateful and thankful for, then something that you're thankful and grateful for have at least six on here and then write down what is your number one goal for the day and then your to-do list this is where you have the very specific details maybe you have a dentist appointment maybe you have a doctor's appointment for your kids maybe you have a power hour that you're doing with your team maybe you have one-to-one -one appointments and if you're in bni it's called a one-to-one -one. maybe you have meetings with other business owners Maybe you need to go to the garbage dump or go to do a post office, do a mail run. What are the different things that you need to do? So that's where you have your to-do list. And as you will see, it's little hearts. That way you can fill in the heart when it's done. You also want to write down your why and write it down on a daily basis. And it is here because it is crucial to write it down on a daily basis because there's things that happen in the subconscious mind that trigger activities and actions when you write this down on a daily basis. Same as writing down on a daily basis, your top yearly goal. So what is your top yearly goal? Write that down. Your top goal for the month, you go ahead and write that down on a daily basis and also your top goal for the quarter. And the reason for writing these down on a daily basis
this as well is that it helps to keep them top of mind. If they're not written down on a daily basis, they have a tendency of going a little bit to the wayside to where as life happens, it will change the direction of your subconscious. So here by writing it on a daily basis, it helps to keep that focus. And the last piece on this particular page to look at for your start of the day is your daily disciplines. So there are some daily disciplines that are already written on here with the little hearts for you to fill in when they're done, such as your morning routine. Part of the morning routine is to write down what you're thankful and grateful for. Maybe your daily routine also includes journaling. I do journaling. I have a different journal that I use for my journaling. And for me, I do journaling using I am statements and a variety of other things. So for me, that is part of my daily routine. What about reading or listening to audios? That can That is very important to have that as part of your daily routine, no matter when in the day you do it. Water intake. It's on here because water intake is very crucial. How much of it do you want to take? Do you want to have on a daily basis? You, there's a little line for you to fill that in and also that little heart for you to fill in once it's done, right? So for example, on this particular day, the heart is half. I only colored half of the heart because I only drank half of the amount of water that I had set for myself to drink. And then supplements. What do you feed your body? Because yes, there are nutritional gaps from the foods that we eat. So it is important that we take our supplements on a daily basis. And if you're looking for some great supplements, let me know. I do have some recommendations. Exercise. As you can see, my exercise heart has not been filled in for that day. So that means I didn't do it. <laughs> and then there's some extra hearts there so that you can also add other things that are part of your daily disciplines that are important to you and important to you as a person and important to you for your family, if you have a family, and important to you for your business. So you can have those added in. Then at the end of the day, you come back to this page and you can double check on your to-do list. Any of the hearts that you did not get a chance to color in yet is are those things that you will put on for the next day or can you go ahead and get them done? Are they things that are super quick? And you will go ahead and fill in a win for the day. It is important to celebrate. No matter how small that win may be, celebrate that win. Write it down. What could you have improved on for the day? So for me on this particular day, I wrote that I looked at my plan for the day more, that I need to look at my plan for the day more in order to stay better focused. So having the plan, writing it down is key. And then for me, I basically, I flip my journal open and I have it on my desk that way I can refer to it. Is there something that I'm missing in the things that I want to get done today? So that was one of my ahas, something that I realized, you know what, I need to have it open and up front so that I can help and stay focused. Then the next line is gratitude or recognition card sent to. So it is important as a business owner, as a human being, to recognize and share gratitude with others. And when you do it with a card or a written note to where it is a tangible that the person receives versus, versus sending them a text or an email or a phone call, those are great. Do them. To take that extra step and do it in by the tangible touch of them receiving it in the mail, it has a complete different effect. It releases dopamine in their brain. And the dopamine is something that triggers happiness from the inside. So when you celebrate somebody by sending them in the mail, a letter or a card, a note, 
to say congratulations or I appreciate you, I am thankful for you, something that you recognize about them, it releases that dopamine. But guess what? There is more magic in that. Each time that they pick up that letter from you, more dopamine gets released. So it has a longer lasting effect than a phone call, a text, or a social media shout out. And at the same time, you, as the sender, when you have that daily habit of sending a note of gratitude, of appreciation to someone, it releases dopamine in your brain. So it triggers that happy effect, that happy feeling. It's dopamine, it's something, it's a real thing. It's a chemical that the brain releases and it triggers that happy feeling on the inside. So by focusing on a daily basis on that gratitude, just one person a day, and guess what? That one person a day could be somebody that you write down at the top when you do your daily gratitude. So do that on a daily basis. And if you want an easy system for using that, I have a fantastic website for you. It's mailabrownie.com. Just click on send a card if you have never used it before. And your very first card will be done for free. We will even cover the postage for you. If you already have a send out cards account, use it on a daily basis. It's going to change lives, yours and others. Now, going on to the very last segment of the daily log is something I realized or learned today. So to reflect on the day, on a aha moment, or maybe it's a quote. Sometimes I've written quotes on some of these pages, or on this particular day, I have turn off the Facebook Messenger notification helps me to stay focused. So that was that particular aha that I had for the day to where I had to turn off the notifications on Facebook because otherwise the Facebook messenger keeps on bleeping. And you know what? When I have my focus time, I can have focus time for going through my messenger and responding to messages. But when it keeps on dinging, it distracts my brain and I want to look at it. So by having it off, it helps me to stay more focused. So that is the review of the daily log page. Now the very last section in your business bullet journal is the project lists and notes. And that is page 128 to 200. And as you will see, I'm going to go ahead and go to the paper clip for it. So basically what I do is I move the paper clip to the last page that I have written notes on. And so the next page that I have is blank. That way when I go to that paper clip, I know that I'm at the next blank page to take notes. And I take notes, let me, let me go back at some of the notes that I have taken. So this particular on page 128, it was a training with Jordan Adler, how to get most everyone to sign up. It was a fantastic training, but guess what? So at the very front where it says where we have the index, now I write where it has all the blank spaces under project list and notes, page 128 to 200. Now I have written down a training by Jordan Adler, how to get the most people, how to get most people to sign up and the page number, page 128. And then on page 129, I have actually notes from two different things. So on page 129, I have notes from a meeting with a publisher. And then on page 129, I also have notes from a training, Advance Your Reach Storytelling. And then on page 130, I have my dream team notes, how to create your message. So this is crucial for you to put all your notes instead of having multiple notebooks for notes, binders and notebooks, do all your notes in one. And as you do your notes, then you are creating your index. And why this is important is that then you have for your entire quarter, all your notes, 
your daily logs, everything all in one. And so you can keep that and refer to it. When you go to business conferences, when you have trainings, you have them all in one. And then you can look at your index sheet. Let's say that Let's say that next month I want to go over my notes of what I talked about with my publisher. Then I go to the index and I go, where are my notes from the publisher? <gasps> it's page 129. So I know to go to page 129 and see the notes that I have from that publisher. So that is how you use your business bullet journal. This is good for an entire quarter this is my prototype this is my prototype this is the one that you purchased so this is good for an entire quarter so four per year and you have all your notes all your trainings all logged indexed easy to refer to when you're ready for more journals you have the address on the back to go to MarianneRoos.com. There will be the link right on there for you to get more. If you want to gift some to your team, that is where you can get more as well. And I will be creating other fronts as well. And that way you can have different quotes and different motivations for different quarters. If you have any questions about this, feel free to reach out to me. My website is MarianneRoos.com. You can reach me through there. And here it is, MarianneRoos.com. Aloha.